Well, it's been a while. Things are a bit echoey here because I've moved house. That's right. I'm in Spain. If you look out the window there, can the camera even see that? Outside there are Spanish trees and bushes. And this is my new office, which is uh, just being set up. So hence me using a laptop, no microphone. My desktop system doesn't arrive till next week. And then normal recording service will be resumed. But anyway, um, what are we talking about today? Um, I finally got bored of Gmail. Um, I've been using Gmail for a very long time. And um, mixed in with my general dissatisfaction with some of the uh, editing, censorship, and all that kind of stuff that Google um, impose on um, their services, YouTube, I just thought, okay, I want to get away from big tech, reading my emails, um, controlling what I can read, potentially censoring things. If they're censoring content online, um, I had a video censored on YouTube because during it, it's just a fun one I was messing about, and I made a joke about COVID, and I got a warning strike because I was joking about COVID. Ridiculous. Anyway, <clears throat> lots of looking around, and I find Proton Mail, and I've decided that I'm going to move my email from Gmail to Proton Mail. You'll have seen the stuff above. I've written the blog about uh, how to get started. It's very cheap. It's like eighty dollars for two years, forty bucks a year, three ninety five a month. Um, essentially, has all the services that uh, Google Mail has. So you've got your email, you've got your contacts, and you've got their version of Google Drive. And I'm going to dive in to get started. I've literally just created my account. I haven't even parked my Nick Litton domain yet. So by default, when you create one, you get your username. I chose nick.litton at proton.me. And when you first go into Proton, I haven't clicked on anything. This is what you see. So the first thing that I'm going to do is import contacts and emails. So I'm going to import my contacts. Import contacts. So let's quickly run through this and just see how easy or difficult it is. Um, I love doing things in real time like this because it really shows the glitches and flaws. Import via Easy Switch. Okay, I'd like to import um, through Google. Let's let's do it. I want to import my emails, my contacts, my calendars. So what I'll do before I do that, I'm going to open a, a Gmail tab. Make sure that I'm logged into my proper email account. The one that I use is nick at nicklitton.com. This is the Google Workspace account, but it's exactly the same as doing a, a Google regular account. If you're wondering what that was, my password organizer, it's one password. Excellent utility. So here's my emails. Oh, the top one is my ongoing drama, I'm trying to get my car imported to Spain. Don't try and import a car to Spain, it's very, very difficult. Anyway, so here's a tab with me logged into my Gmail account. Um, I'm gonna go back to the import tab and I'm gonna to try to import emails, contacts and calendars. And I've got uh, 30, 40,000 emails, a lot. Next, you need to sign into your Google account and grant Proton access to the data. Okay, I'm good with that. As you can see, I've got multiple Google accounts, but my main emails are on nick at nicklitton.com. Um, I'm gonna give Proton access to do anything they like in my account. If you're gonna trust a company, you have gotta trust them. And it's gathering, okay, so it's found. Oh, it's even gonna import all the labels as well. Good, so I have lots of, when I look at my email, you can see I've got all kinds of labels that I use to label the various emails over the years, um, from private stuff to business stuff. I now use my projects email for my business stuff. This is really just private. And going forward, I'm going to be using Proton for all of my private emails, um, private discussions about anything. And then I have a separate email account for my business related stuff. I have 276 contacts. It's going to be interesting to see how this synchronizes with my Google phone. Um, and a calendar as well. Okay, let's do it. Let's, is it really that easy? So it's created a calendar, import in progress. Large imports can take several days. Okay, I've got a large import, no pun intended, that uh, I think I've got 50,000 plus emails. I wonder if I can actually see. If I go in and say uh, all mail. Oh. <laughs> Like most men, I over-exaggerated the size of my email. I've got 24,310 emails, so I have no idea how long this will take. I'm going to time it. I'm going to pause the video, and I'll come back when it's done. Okay, and we're back <laughs> just over 10 minutes later. <laughs> this is going to take some time. You can actually see, I just realized, if you look at the tab to the left 
of the product on the emails. That's the this is the original where I clicked on the uh, import contacts. It launched a new tab to start the import. Look, it shows a running count of how many emails it's imported. It's imported 282 emails in 10 minutes, and it's got 24,000 to go. So that's going to be several hours. So I'm going to stop this video here um, and record a part two when it's done. And this sounds like an excuse to get dressed um, and go out for a Mediterranean lunch overlooking the sea, some seafood and a glass or two of white wine. So that's my plan for this Sunday. Um, go and do something like that yourself. That's right. <laughs> and I'll see you later.